What's up everyone, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to customize your license plate so that instead of looking boring like this, it looks something like this. Obviously, you can customize it as much as you want or as much as your skills allow it. With that, let's get straight into it. Now, I'm going to show you two different methods that you can customize your license plate in Assetto Corsa. The first method involves using Photoshop. This is the method that I personally recommend because if you're good with Photoshop, you can do all sorts of crazy designs. If you don't have Photoshop, or if you don't know how to use Photoshop, or if you even just want to do some simpler designs, I'll also show you how you can use Paint. Now, first of all, let's open up Content Manager because some of the steps are the same, regardless if you want to use Photoshop or Paint. The first thing I'm going to show you is where you can find the license plate files that we're going to be editing and modifying. I'm going to use this BMW M3 G80 as an example, but you can use pretty much any other car mod that you want. Use right click on the mod that you want to use and select folder. This will show you where the car mod lives inside the root Assetto Corsa folder. From here, you want to go into skins because that's where all of the individual skins for the car live. Now, if I open up this M Sao Paulo yellow folder for instance, you can see that inside we can find the plate underscore D and the plate underscore nm dds files. The plate underscore d file is basically the skin texture or design if you will of the license plate itself while the plate underscore nm is the indentation of that plate. Just remember that some mods might not name their plate files as plate d or plate nm but you'll usually see a plate in the name. Now if we go back to the skins folder and we open up this Laguna Seca blue folder you'll notice that there's no license plate file inside. This is because all car mods have a default license plate skin that they fall back on in case there's no explicit license plate specified. To show you this, I'm going to open up the first skin here in the showroom, which does have a different license plate than the default one. Now, if I go back inside the skins folder of the M Sao Paulo yellow, and if I delete, the two license plate files, you'll see that the mod itself resorts back to the default plate. Then if I click Ctrl Z on my keyboard and return the files from the trash bin back inside the skins folder, they'll also return on the car. Now here's a really important step. If the car mod that you want to edit does not have license plate files inside of the folder, you'll need to generate them. First you're going to select the license plate by clicking on it in the showroom and then from the right hand side you're going to find textures, text diffuse, and you're going to click on the three little dots besides the plate file. This will now open up a window showing you a template of the license plate itself. Don't worry if the license plate does not match the template since the template is always based on the default license plate skin. Then you're going to click calculate AO and when it gives you the template, you're going to click on the save icon on the right bottom hand of your screen. You can save this file pretty much anywhere you want, but here I'm just going to save it in the base car mod folder, not the skins folder. To avoid any confusion, I'm just going to name it plate underscore D replacement. Now we're going to close this window and we're going to do exactly the same thing with the plate underscore NM DDS file. Again, you're going to click the three dots, you're going to click calculate AO and you're going to save the file. Again, to avoid unnecessary confusion, simply name it something else or add replacement at the end. We can now close all of this and we can go back to the folder where we just saved our generated files. For me, that's the car mod itself and as you can see, here they are. To make things easier, I'm going to cut these two files and I'm going to paste them in the skin that I want to modify the license plate. I could have saved them there from the start, but I didn't want to confuse you. Now, I never suggest deleting the default files that your mod comes with, but since I have them backed up, I'm going to delete them here. As you can see, when I do that, this skin will default back to the backup plate. And in order to solve this, we're going to name the two files that we generated as plate underscore D and plate underscore NM. That is, take out the replacement additive. As soon as I do that, the mod will recognize it as a correct plate and we now have a blank canvas that we can work on. Just remember that this step was optional and you should only do this step if you can't find the license files inside the skins folder. If the mod you want to edit already has license plate files inside, you don't have to do this. 
Now, in order to open up and edit these DDS files in Photoshop, we'll need to install a plugin. Open up your web browser and simply type in DDS plugin for Photoshop in Google. You'll be able to find several different plugins or plugin versions from sites like NVIDIA, independent sites and even Intel. I can't recommend a single DDS plugin since all of this depends on your specific Adobe Photoshop version. Broadly speaking though, any plugin will work as long as it's compatible with your Photoshop. If you don't want to use a DDS plugin, you'll need to open up a new tab and type in DDS to PNG converter. You'll need to use any one of these sites to convert the DDS files to PNG and be able to work on them in Photoshop as PNG. Just remember that if you do this, you'll then have to subsequently convert the files back from PNG to DDS. Regardless of which method you opted to use, the first thing you have to do is to copy and paste the two DDS files and have them as backup. You don't want to modify the original files without having a backup in case you do anything wrong. Now that I have them backed up, I can open up the plate underscore D DDS file with Photoshop. To save some time, I'm going to speed up the video here, but as you can see, I'm doing a simple design with nothing too complex. If you're particularly good with Photoshop, this is where you can do as complicated of a design as you want. When you're done editing the license plate, you're going to go into File and you're going to select Save As and when the window pops up, you're going to save as Type DDS. You can obviously overwrite the existing plate DDS file since we have it backed up. If we go back to the showroom now, you can see that the modification was successful and that the license plate was changed. However, if you look closely, you can see that the indentation is wrong, so let's go ahead and fix that. First, open up the plate underscore nm DDS file with Photoshop. Although you can make the plate indentation match your plate design, if you want to keep it simple, it's best to just remove the indentation altogether. Then, once again, you're going to go into File, Save As, and you're going to select DDS as the type. If we now go back to the showroom again, you can see that the indentation is gone and the plate looks super clean. The great thing about this is that if you want to use the same plate that we just created for other car skins in the same mod, all you have to do is copy the files that we just modified and paste them in the other skin folder. Now, it's important to note that different mods have different type of plate designs and plate shapes. If I open up this R34 GTR mod for instance, you can see that the plate shape and design is quite different to that of the BMW M3. If you attempt to use the same plate that we just created for the BMW on this Nissan, it won't work. So, if you want to change the plates of multiple car mods which use a different type of license plate, you'll have to edit them separately. Lastly, if you ever want to remove the custom license plate that you have created, all you have to do is go to the mod skin where you have it created and simply delete it. Then, since we have it backed up, simply rename the backed up files as the originals. Now, if you want to use Paint instead of Photoshop, you'll need to use a DDS to PNG converter since there's no plugin for Paint. However, an alternative method, which I strongly recommend, is to download and use Paint.net since this program natively supports DDS files. Once you have it completely downloaded and installed on your computer, you can go back to the folder and open up the DDS files using Paint.net. Here you can modify the license plate as much as you want, after which all you have to do is save it. That's pretty much it for this video guys, please leave a like and drop a sub if you've enjoyed this content and I'll see you again pretty soon.